know that old adage, they don't make them like they used to? Well, that's not a problem for our next hobbyist. He's figured out a way to bring oldies but goodies back to life. My hobby is restoring uh, archaic vehicles, things that make a lot of noise and move. In particular, Ken Calkins has a passion for turn-of-the-century transportation. These things fascinate me because uh, it's an era that I never could take part in because I, I was born too late. I suppose uh, if someone looked close, they would see a big kid inside of me. Ken, you achieved every boy's dream. You have a steam locomotive. Now, what year is this? 1906. 1906. And where are we in the restoration process now? Well, right now I'm getting ready to check the boiler before we put it on the track. All right. Can I help? Sure. Okay. Yeah, you, uh, here's a wrench. I'll put the WD-40 on there. <laughs> okay. We're just pulling these bolts off? Yep. Oh, I can do that. Looks like this one's loose already. I have never seen inside. Let's not lose the pieces. Okay, let's take a look inside. Oh, man. Whoa, it looks like it's pretty dirty there. Now, is that ash? Uh, ashes, suet. This is a coal-fired locomotive. Really? Yes. Oh, well, let's clean her up. Yeah. Steam engines are very difficult to maintain, very hot, very noisy, very greasy. Everything about it is a restorer's dream come true. It's still fun getting dirty. Sure. It's, I like taking baths. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you want to get in here with me? Uh, I like watching people work. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did Casey Jones start this way? Because it's, it's rusty, but yet can be restored fairly easily. The parts can be uh, filed and sanded and cleaned and painted. Um, and then you're left with a running vehicle that chatters and clugs and clunks along. Maybe the selfish satisfaction that I take from restoring these vehicles is the fact that it relieves the stress from everyday work. My, job, my career is stressful. There's a lot of responsibilities. I can go home and take it out on a machine. I can tear it apart and say, take this, take that. I can hammer it, straighten it out, and it'll mind. It'll do what I say. These vehicles seem to have a life to them. The air comes in and goes out. It breathes like, a, like an animal. Now, Ken, what the heck is this? Well, this is a Carnival's version or circus version of a Westinghouse upright steam traction engine. It was used to uh, power equipment with this flat belt, either carousels, band organs, or amusement park rides. Really? Does it work? Yeah, it works. It's, uh, right now, it's hooked up to run on air, and uh, that simplifies things. It, it's... Otherwise, you have to fire up this boiler, get some steam going. Exactly. What year is this? Oh, somewhere around 1910. 1910. It still works. I'd love to see it. All right, well, I'll... Uh, Put some air on. So you just put compressed air through there? Right, right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. When I finished a piece, I can sit back and look at it and think, my children will enjoy this. And if they tear it up and break it, I've restored it already. I can do it again. It won't bother me. Let them enjoy it. Let them wear it out. I'll rebuild it again. And we'll do it as a joint project. They can play with the small crank train, the uh, old tricycle made in the 1860s. So that's the beauty of it. The beauty is that the, my children don't have to 
be locked away and say, don't ever go near that. They can enjoy it too, as long as they don't hurt themselves. Get up. Ken is fortunate enough to have a mentor of his own, Jess Baker. Together, they restored the Overland Stagecoach. It was Jess who invented the horseless version by mounting a Model A engine on the chassis. I never owned an antique vehicle until I met Jess Blaker. One of the most important things that Jess taught me was to take a piece of rusty old junk and make it work, make it something. Ken, I can read Overland, but I don't know this vehicle. What is this? Well, Overland was the Willis Overland Company, later on the Willys Jeep Company. This car was made around 1910. And now you've restored this? No, this car is original and it's still working and it's been in service since it was new. Without you haven't any done difference. anything to it? Change the tires. That's it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I hear a clock ticking. Is the clock still working? It's never quit. <laughs> <laughs> and the car runs? Still runs. Prove it. All right, let's start her up. The clock works! Let's take him for a ride. What do you say? The best moment for me is, is the completion, the rest. Uh, to be fulfilled, the, the, the journey's end. When we return, a model hobby that's sure to put the wind back into your sails.